Hello and welcome to this video on Ambrosia. Ambrosia is a feature of ancient Greek mythology. It shows up in a wide range of texts and stories. Ambrosia is described as the food or drink of the gods. It is depicted as imparting longevity, verging on immortality. It is used in lieu of nectar in different historical texts. Ambrosia is either a solid food or a liquid sustenance. It is described as highly fragrant. It is supposed to cause a degree of euphoria. Ambrosia, when written about, is often used in the context of medicine, cooking, and botany. This carries through until the late ancient eras. The concept of immortality, when it's used, is often closely associated both with the word that gives rise to ambrosia and how ambrosia is often used. The root word or etymology of ambrosia comes from the Indo-European languages. The Sanskrit word for ambrosia is antra, and in both its use in the Sanskrit language, it denotes a food or drink, but is also closely associated with what the gods would use to achieve immortality. This closely mirrors the ancient Greek usage. When ambrosia is consumed, it's said to turn blood into ichor. In Greek mythology, ichor is a golden fluid that flows in the veins of gods and immortals in lieu of blood. Ichor is said to be toxic to mortals and will kill them instantly. This is shown in one particular story. The immortality of Apollo is achieved by giving Apollo ambrosia. As Apollo eats the ambrosia, or at least consumes it, he is turned into a god. From this, we can begin to think that ambrosia is likely to be based on some sort of organic material, something that was present in the ancient period, but the mechanism underlying its effect was not well understood. As it stands at present, there are two main candidates for this. First we have the poisonous mushroom, known as Amanita muscaria. This was a, and still is, a hallucinogenic mushroom. It's also the source for some of our modern antihypertensive medications. Because you could produce a hallucinogenic product from this, and at least in ancient times they would be able to know to some extent what was and was not consumable, but also know what could be consumed safely but with side effects, the possibility that this is the source of the myth around ambrosia is small but possible. The second option is where we look at the use of both nectar and ambrosia. The two words are used at times interchangeably. At others, ambrosia is used for a food, while nectar refers to a drink. It is possible that they were making reference to honey in particular applications. This would also be somewhat further supported by the references to its ability to impart benefits that go beyond the mundane, that is, claims of immortality and exceptional powers of healing. Honey, and especially fermented honey, were, at least in the early days, sources of conscious-altering drugs, alcohol still being used largely to that effect. The other possibility is that honey, being a sugar-rich foodstuff, would also provide a short-lived but certainly pronounced increase in energy. Considering it's a calorie-rich food, it would not have been readily accessible, and accessing it would have been available only to those in the higher echelons of society, it makes sense that possibly ambrosia and nectar were referring to its use in food for the wealthy and affluent. Based on this information and the otherwise sparse documentation, ambrosia appears to be an ancient name for a food or drink that intoxicated people. It had strong ties to religion and power. This is at least in part, on a religious level, similar to the way peyote is used today. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Oh. 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 Manders, you gotta help me. 
Well, sure, buddy, I'd be happy to help out. What can I do? Doodly 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 it's also similar in the past to how the wealthy and affluent would have access to the most tasty and beneficial of foods. Whether or not this is how they played out in the end is a separate issue. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions that you have below.